This is my favorite part of summer. Who wants to go outside when you can play with a piece of metal all day? So yeah, this is just a quick video going over iOS 26 Developer Beta 3. Now, there's a few things they changed, and unfortunately one of the things that stands out most is they kind of diminished Liquid Glass. So before I update, this is iOS 26 Dev Beta 2, and you can see how Liquid Glass is still pretty translucent. But unfortunately in the new update, they uh, they frosted it a bit more, so it's kind of hard to see what's behind it. Uh, I feel like that kind of makes it lose its identity, but whatever, let's update. And there it is. Alright, let's start downloading. This is unrelated to the new beta, but look how fun it is to press these buttons. I agree, <laughs> I haven't even read them, but sure. This update is so small, it didn't even show me the welcome screen when I opened the phone for the first time since updating. Oh well. Now one of the main things about this beta is uh, they actually reduced the liquid glass effect by a bunch. This applies to the entire operating system from the little search bar in Safari to the control center. Uh, it's mainly just for readability. Um, personally, I think this is actually a good change. I mean, it's cool to have a flashy phone and all, but at the end of the day, readability is what's important, and I'm glad they're making a choice to tone that down just to make iPhones more usable to everybody. And actually, the new liquid glass overhaul, it kind of varies depending on the app you're using. Stuff like App Store looks completely blurred out now. But on the other hand, something like Photos, you can actually still see through the liquid glass just fine. So, it's kind of all over the place. Still, pretty funny to see how they still haven't nailed down the liquid glass design by Beta 3 yet. Uh, I assume we're gonna see a bunch of changes until it launches in the fall. Now, for something a bit less interesting than the liquid glass changes, we've actually got a few new wallpapers for the default one on iOS 26 now. I've gotta say, my favorite is still Sky. Oh, and one other thing, on Developer Beta 2, when you removed an app from the dock, the apps wouldn't recenter themselves, but now they do again. Why did that happen again? And because this update is kind of like an under the hood bug fix kind of changes, uh, the overall system is much faster and more stable. Battery life is also just a tiny bit better. If you're planning on installing this on your main phone, uh, if you're interested, go ahead, but uh, just make sure you make a backup and you're ready to restore it. I'll include restore instructions in the description if you need them. Was iTunes Store updated? Nope, still rocking the iOS 7 look. Do you hate this, Apple? But if you're still looking for the best performance and best battery life, just, just don't update, just be a bit patient. As for the public beta, Apple did promise us that it is this month, so uh, I expect it coming up in the next week or so. Either way, uh, thanks for watching, that's been Beta 3. I know this is a bit of a shorter video, but what do you want me to do? They changed nothing!